Good morning, Cyber Radio friends. This is Mitty Man again coming at you from Walker's Music with another word for today. Today we're going to come from, we're still in the book of John, and we're going to come from the 8th chapter starting the very first verse, and we're going to go right ahead on into it this morning and, and get down with the, with the real meat and potatoes of the word. John 8, 1. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning, he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and rolled on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself, and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Had no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. I read to you 11 verse of John 8. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. I must say that all of Jesus saying are very profound. But out of all of the things, I think this is one of my favorite passages that happened in, during Jesus' lifetime ministry. The Pharisees, they were always trying to trip him up, get him to go against the Mosaic law. Um, people, we tend to be that way even in this day and time we get I guess you would say we get so religious we get above even Jesus himself but the one thing about it when they brought this woman that was caught in a duck now I know that back in ancient time men men had a more profound role in society than women and we, there have been cases said and made that that's how come they didn't bring the man. But in order for one to commit adultery, it takes two. And they only brought the woman. And so Jesus didn't say anything to them because he, he, he knew what was in their heart. So Jesus began to write on the ground and with his finger. And it, the, the Bible doesn't say what Jesus wrote, but I can imagine in my mind that Jesus wrote down lying, stealing, Bike bag, ditch digging, among a few other things. And each one of them standing there, you know, was looking at him right this is on the ground. And so Jesus looked back up and said, Okay, I tell you what, you that don't have no sin, you throw the rock first. Letting us know right there that nobody, for we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, as tell us that scripture. So no one could throw, no one could condemn the woman. And so when Jesus looked up and he lifted himself up, there was nobody standing there but him and the woman. Jesus asked her the question, well, where are those now to accuse you? She said, Lord, I have none. He said, neither do I condemn thee. Go your way, but sin no more. That means Jesus don't condone sin. He forgives it, but he doesn't condone it. That is a very... That's, that's our Savior showing the mercy 
that he had for Jesus was the only one there that was qualified to throw a rock but didn't throw one. How many times we as individuals we we just we just want to find some fault. We're always trying to find fault. But nevertheless, we are too close to the mirror to see our own mess. Jesus did not condemn the woman, and I'm glad he didn't. Because if he had condemned the woman, then none of us, and I absolutely mean none of us, would even have a chance because all of us have sin. So let's just take this in mind. The next time you see a person caught up in a fault, don't get too judgmental. Because remember, you reap what you sow also. Just as you want others to do it, you, Jesus said, that's the same thing that you must do. So this is Mitty Man coming at you with the word for the day. May God bless you. Peace.